how about uh, how about this uh, straight pride parade uh, with? Oh uh, man, that's with, not uh, controversial at all. Well, yeah, why would it be, right? Well, here's the thing: like, <laughs> it sh in in principle, just the idea shouldn't be right. Like, if you decide yeah. to um, just because it's something that's um, commonplace, it shouldn't be uh, controversial. Like, people have uh, I don't know, like. Uh, whatever, like some kind of uh, pumpkin, uh, aren't there like celebrations and festivals or like pumpkins or like different types of, usually it's like in, in some kind of like rural towns, right? They would have some kind of like uh, festival, like, I don't know, like yeah, yeah. festival. Yeah, like a strawberry festival. Yeah, exactly. So Yeah, or like, a cranberry festival. Isn't that, isn't that at least in, in principle that that should, should have a similar sense to it? Like, oh, let's just celebrate being straight. Like, what's wrong with that? <laughs> yeah, being straight and eating cranberries. Exactly, but but of course, um, I think here's here's where it uh, gets into <coughs> dicey territory, right? Is uh, because I think that this straight parade thing has a very similar, um, at least symbolic, uh, connotation as the idea of all lives matter, right? When yep. when 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 it became something of a counter slogan to black lives matter, when that was a big thing. So it was mm -hmm. seen, it was seen as a negation of this other thing. Uh, mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and that's, that's why it, it's being met with a lot of, uh, animosity. Uh, and, mm -hmm. uh, but, but it isn't supposed to be a negation. And like, they actually have <laughs> Milo Yiannopoulos, uh, a very gay man. Um, actually, as their uh, grand marshal, uh, I know to 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 put a cherry on top. What it's a brilliant troll. It is brilliant <laughs> trolling, and I I enjoy trolling. I enjoy seeing that. It's hilarious <laughs> to me. But I think yeah, I think I have an understanding of what they're doing there, and uh -huh. um, there's multiple levels to it. It's uh, it's. Like the simplest and most straightforward way to look at it, and this is what will get people angry about it, which is what's happening and it's working, is um, just like what you said. Like this is just a counter attack on um, gay rights, essentially. Mm -hmm. Like the um, yeah, as like the all lives matter thing is to Black Lives Matter. It's a counter slogan, but um, it is. And it is meant to be, it's meant to test whether people respond in that way or not. Hmm. But it, it's also a test of, um, yeah, like I think Milo is obviously a brilliant troll. But if you saw the world in a post, um, a post oppression framework, like if you can imagine living in a world where everyone just sort of accepts everyone else's lifestyle. Mm. and everyone else's race, etc. Um, then saying all lives matter is not controversial at all. It's just boring. And having a straight pride parade is not controversial, just as having a gay pride parade one is not. So if you're already in that mind frame, mm. like let's say you're, you're ahead of history, like you're ahead of your time, and you, um, you just take for granted acceptance of everybody, Right. Well, then you're not going to be bothered by the idea of a straight pride parade. It's like, who cares? Okay, it's kind of a weird thing to celebrate, maybe, like sexuality. And, you know, you're into these people, they're into those people. Kind of a weird thing to have a parade about, but whatever. Knock yourself out. Right. So, yeah, if, so if you're in that <clears throat> mind frame, it's fine. So, in, in a way, this troll is a, is a test of, like, are people in that mind frame? Can they even can they even comprehend that mind frame? Hmm. Um, and can, yeah, can they even imagine that that mind frame exists? Because when people jump to the conclusion that the creators of this parade must be evil and they must be um, homophobic and all of that, it's almost like saying they can't see, they can't see that future. Like they're so deeply connected to the mind frame of oppression and anger that they, they're not even conceding or imagining that someone else um, might have already transcended that. Right. 
Well, is that making any is, sense? It, it does, but it also ties into uh, like a different uh, point that I think you wanted to discuss is this idea of can, can progress be bad, right? Like can, can anti-oppression turn into oppression itself? Can, can, can there be excesses in uh, social movements? And, and I think in a way, um, uh, I think that the straight pride parade in a way is sort of a counterbalancing uh, movement uh, effectively disapproving of some of the excesses, I think, of what you might find in gay parades. Like, for example, the exposure of, of children to, to like some kind of submission domination things and like really kind of flagrantly sexualized um, people walking about like that, that sort of stuff uh, is uh, obviously like it's not something that, uh, that it would be considered acceptable on any other day. Uh, but uh, during that time it is. And, and it's an interesting uh, question, like whether, because like if you go back to traditional societies where there would be like different types of ceremonies and there would be people, I don't know, like uh, having some kind of a mystic spiritual thing where they would be maybe tripping on some kind of drugs and just doing weird dances and there would be like stuff going on that you don't normally see. So are we trying, like, is the idea of these, like, for example, pride parades, is that us as a society trying to tap into something like that, just kind of like trying to have a bit of a mystic trip of, uh, instead of, uh, you know, keeping our sexuality and our sort of demons at bay, we're kind of like letting them show up a little bit and they're just uh, explore uh, explore the, the perimeter of sorts. Or, or is this uh, something that uh, is it? I guess is it necessarily a healthy expression, or is there something uh, devious about it, uh, where where it needs to be? policed more tightly um and 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 it's and it is a healthy thing to try and point out that hey maybe if you want to be showing off you know like your your butt and in, in your leather uh, strap-ons and whatever like maybe that's not a place for kids like is that is that not an unreasonable statement um yeah, I have no idea. I have no idea what it is. Like, um, yeah, you mentioned, like, could it be this, like, um, old phenomenon, this ancient phenomenon of a sort of equivalent to a, a shamanic festival kind of thing? Mm. I, I don't know, because is there a, an equivalent for straight people? I, I can't really think of one. There are times, so I'm thinking that this might be something specific to gay people and therefore it's kind of it might be the birth of a new cultural form that you wouldn't see in most societies mm -hmm. because you have gay people being out and about and forming communities and developing their own new rituals i don't i don't can't really think of a ritual like that that i could understand and relate to uh well, in the same the thing, way like i don't think that pride necessarily is i mean obviously it's tied into the celebration of being openly gay or or or, or otherwise but but I think it's also a celebration of human sexuality because it's not like if you're straight it's not like they're gonna kick you out right it's just everybody just goes in and you know just being there being as flamboyant and whatever they they want to be and uh, so I, I think that it extends beyond just the the, the gay part of it I think it. Uh, I think it's a larger, lar larger societal phenomenon. Uh, now, mm. whether it's a whether it's a healthy one or not, I think it can 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 be debated. But uh, but I think it's it's fairly all encompassing. I don't. Yeah, I guess I, I don't think I've ever actually been to one, so I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if I can judge that whether it's like a, a bigger societal phenomenon or not. 
How come to me, it, it ne- seems pretty. You never made an effort to to check it out. You, you never were curious. Um, no, I am actually. I definitely am. I just have never got around to it. Hmm. Huh. I, yeah, I, I kind of ran into one in Ottawa by mistake. When I was in Ottawa, there was one going on, but like yeah. I, I was trying to go to a tour of the Parliament buildings and stuff. <laughs> I hadn't been planning on joining the parade and spending the afternoon there. Right. Uh, yeah. No, because like I used yeah. to live downtown Vancouver, so I was just kind of uh, almost inadvertently, you're gonna find yourself in the midst of it. And um, yeah, I mean, I, I sort of I appreciate the festivity of it all. But but there is also like something obnoxious about it that I find that's kind of like over the top, and and I get mm. that it's sort of it's supposed to be compensatory, right? Like just because there's all these people who have been keeping themselves repressed and they couldn't tell their parents and they couldn't be who they are, and so this is their chance to just kind of like let it all out. And so in that sense, I, I guess I get it. I I understand that you you know maybe they should just be allowed to to do what what they feel like um uh, i i sort of found myself feeling as a bit of a despite being very socially liberal person i found myself feeling like a conservative just kind of like looking at it like oh this is a real nuisance they're loud and they're semi-naked this shouldn't be happening like like, i was like like um, maybe maybe that's just uh me getting uh, kind of grumpy in my in my old age but uh the but, but I sort of, I, I understand people who Possible. are bothered by it, I guess is what I'm saying. And even, there are even people who I know who are gay, yeah. who really dislike it, there are, um, who, who don't want any part of it just because of this, uh, the, the hedonism and, and the excesses of it all. And, um, and in that sense, it's, um, I don't know, I mm-hmm. think it's a, it's a, anyone's, uh, you know. That makes sense. There's no reason to assume that it represents all gay people. So, like, yeah, if you, um, if there's if there's a pressure uh, on us to mm. sort of celebrate and give our assent to that parade because gay people have been oppressed, that's mm. probably not quite fair because it, it's not specifically. Yeah, like, who's to say that that's a perfect celebration of what gay culture or gay life is? Not all, not all gay people are going to be well, and this into is that. They're not all going to be that hedonistic mm-hmm. yeah, and, this is and all of that. Dis- and if it's meant to be, it's meant to be a celebration of the orientation, not necessarily, like, right. um, and, and, and public this sexuality. And I think where, where, like, people misunderstand each other, like, with, you know, when, when sort of uh, liberal folk uh, call conservatives homophobic i don't think that it's necessarily that conservatives are homophobic they just don't approve of certain behaviors it's not that they disapprove of who you are although i realize that there are some of those too but i think at this point i think they are a minority i think there are just people who don't want you to be sexual at the workplace they don't want you to be overtly sexual and it doesn't even it doesn't even matter whether it's gay or not it's just like they don't want things that they believe belong in private to be out in public type of thing. And, um, and, and, and I, and, and I mm-hmm. think that's not mm-hmm. as unreasonable a statement as, as some of it, some people are making it out to be, but, um, but yeah. yeah, it certainly doesn't make you a hate figure. If, if you're, if you're a conservative and you just lean towards like privacy and modesty because you're constitutionally, that is a, uh, yeah. y- y- probably even genetically. That's how a good portion of the population is going to be. Yeah. They're going to le- they're going to favor modesty, and they're not going to like overt sexuality on the street in your face. So yeah, that the them having that gut reaction does not make them right. some kind of yeah. Nazi. Yeah, I'm not like that personally. I'm I'm pretty. I don't really care yeah. that much. I haven't really thought that much about the children thing, the children angle, but. If you took that out of the equation, yeah. then I'm all for it. I'm not sure it's necessarily like he- healthy. Right. <clears throat> I don't know if it's healthy or unhealthy, uh, but I guess it's like just people exploring in that phase of their lives. If they want to get on a float and like dance yeah. around in leather assless chaps, yeah. um, knock yourself out, do what you want to do. <laughs> 
maybe maybe in five years they'll decide that that's right. not that wasn't a good idea. I have no idea, and and they'll move on. They'll, their lifestyle will change, but yeah, I, I'm I'm pretty liberal on that. I don't know about kids right. though. I have no idea how yeah, how that would yeah. affect. kids.